ABC Sports presents live for the 25th consecutive year the professional bowlers tour what an interesting championship field in the first match our number five qualifier Matt Carlson from Sweden looking for his first tour title he meets 26 year old Walter Ray Williams a hot bowler appearing in his fourth championship round in 1986 Qualifying third, Hugh Miller, who has a career record of 6-0 in television appearances. The number two position belongs to John Gant, Rookie of the Year in 1984, looking for his second PBA title. The winner of their matches will meet the tournament leader, United States Open champion Steve Cook, looking for his tenth title. All live today on the Professional Bowlers Tour. Yes, that was the Bob Scobie band with Clancy Hayes extolling the virtues of Peoria, Illinois, here on the west side of the river. We're glad to be back at Landmark, seventh consecutive year, and we're so delighted that this is the fifth True Value Open. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chris Schenkel. Our live telecast, uh, within a 90-minute time period, we will have a winner of the True Value Open. We hope during that 90 minutes, we will also have a 300 game especially today because True Value will give us a bonus $200,000 if one of the five can do it. So keep your fingers crossed. In the field of 160, there were 11 left-handed bowlers. Three of them are in our field of five. So to find out the possibilities of a 300 and how and why the left-handers got where they are here today, let's bring in right-hander Nelson Burton, Jr. Here he is, Bob. Thank you, Chris. Great. What a field. Yes, it is. It's a great field. And you know, the possibility of a 300 game, well, who knows? It's been 12 years since we had a 300 game. Last year, we had two players start with nine in a row, but no 300 game. Then back to the left-handers. This is the first championship round that we've had where the left-handers have dominated the tournament. They're in first, second, and third places. But the right-handers, when they win the first match, historically have been very tough on the lefties. In 1984, when Mike Durbin was in fifth place, he went all the way through the three left-handers to win the championship round. Back to the 300 game. Can the player shoot 300? The key is in the carry. The pins are three pound, eight ounce pins. The players have been hitting the pocket all week. The scores have been pretty good. If they can carry the corner pins, catch a lucky strike, Chris, we may have that perfect game and $200,000 bonus. We'll know in another 90 minutes. Ready to go. Okay, and we open with the two right-handers. Thank you, Bo. Walter Ray Williams on the left, who finished fourth out of a field of 160. And here uh, is Mats Carlson of Gothenburg, Sweden. It's his second appearance of the year, second in the last three weeks. Finished fifth in the St. Louis Open two weeks ago. First shot. Nice form, a little shorter follow through than he usually sort of just jerked it off and he was hoping. But hope isn't good enough when you're bowling for $27,000 first prize money, 14 for second, so on down the line. High game this week, 248. The six pen. So Bo, one of our two uh, foreign players is marked with a spare. Matt's Carlson, uh, quite a deliberate player, going against a player who has had a lot of championship round of experience, yet he has never seen the winner's circle in professional bowling, the world's horseshoe champion, Walter Ray Williams, Jr., up on the right lane. And Walter Ray very rapidly moves on the approach, goes to the line and strikes a replay. Walter Ray, four-step delivery, a very versatile player, Medium high backswing, gets a good lift, tremendous arm extension, a little bit turned towards the foul line, but he carried the 10 pin out on that particular shot, and that's been the trouble the players have had all week long. They've been able to hit the pocket, but they can't consistently carry the corner pins.
horseshoe champion and a man that looks like a Hollywood version of a riverboat gambler. And having seen that riverboat here on the Illinois as we came on the air, he's a delightful guy. A little on the quiet side is Mats Carlson. Sven Krifa is a Swedish journalist here covering Mats on the American tour. Spare up, second frame. That's pretty impressive, Nelson. Solid in the pocket, never a doubt. The right-hand lane on the championship pair. The pair is a little bit tighter. Doesn't hook quite as much as the left-hand lane. Matt said he had a tremendous shot on the right-hand lane. The key for him is to be able to strike consistently on the left. Fingertip grip has those inserts that some of the players, especially the ones that don't throw the big hook or powerful ball, seem to enjoy very much. Sets up to even up the match. Trails by 10. And uh, yes, all even. And we have two right-handers in this field of five that are extremely consistent. You've seen them both in recent weeks more than once 27 14 80, 500, 7, 000, and the loser of this first match will get a check for six thousand dollars the defending champion ted hannas who won here in 84 and 85 finished 99th so we'll have a new winner here in 86. Pitching champion Walter Ray Williams with this hit. Trips the 4 7 out with a two pin. Both players have gotten the good hits and good breaks when they've hit high in the pocket. Walter Ray told me that his problem all week long has been hitting the pocket consistently. His carry has been sensational. Starts with three in a row, leads by 10, fourth frame. I'm getting that high hit, leaving the three sticks. The man that. Finished third in the Light Bear Championship in Milwaukee last week. So he keeps edging toward the top spot. Both these players, Mots Carlson and Walter Ray, change balls for their spare shots. A much harder ball with a much slicker or low friction surface to control it. Hopefully to convert all the spares. Two non-winners on the Professional Bowlers Tour. Going at it here in... Round one of our live telecast from Landmark in Peoria. We'll be back with more after this. True value hardware stores mean top quality hardware. And our hardware week circular means great savings for you. This true temper lawn rake with 22 steel tines is just $2.99. And the master electrician safety outlet that protects you against ground faults is only $9.99. For security, get this GE Miser flood lamp for just $4.49. And the ITT quartz halogen light for only $14.99. They're all in the Hardware Week circular from participating True Value Hardware stores and home centers. Yeah, 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 what is this? Oh, that's a, uh, oh, Billy, that's a, uh, uh America's uh, learning that it takes a new breed of mechanic to save us today's sophisticated cars. The Firestone Mastercare Mechanic, trained at one of 48 Firestone training centers, trained in the latest automotive technology on specially designed state-of-the-art equipment, because that's what it takes to be a mechanic today. America's driving to Firestone. Mr. Secretary, are you saying no further cuts can be made? That is correct, Senator. I see here enormous expenditures on my supergraph. Our boys deserve an expensive beer, sir. My committee informs me it's not expensive, just tastes expensive. Actually, that's under my assistant, Mr. Macklin. Well, what's he doing with the money he's supposed to spend on beer? Oh, oh Mac, it's a darling little boat. Rich, smooth Meisterbrow. It only tastes expensive. Next, the only U.S. World Cup downhill this year. It's same-day coverage of America's downhill. Plus the World Gymnastics Championships on ABC's Wide World of Sports next. These bowling balls on the rack here at Landmark in Peoria, Illinois. Nearing the halfway point of our first match from Gothenburg, Sweden, Mats Carlson. Has a double up shooting in the fourth frame going against Walter Ray Williams. Beautiful shot. 
solid in the puck. Mats Carlson, almost a standard type delivery, but watch his arm swing. Has that figure eight motion in his arm swing, much like the old timers used two-fingered bowling balls. Gets a good knee bend, a little short in his extension, but he's a well-practiced player. Has really made himself a top contender in the last two years. Experience is what he needed. He's taken advantage of the American Tour, and now he's a ready to win. Cashed in eight of the nine tournaments thus far this year and has earned $14,405. them all for a four bagger and here's the hit once again he has a two pin do the work for him it goes to the sideboard trips out to four seven and when the players can carry that hit and have confidence they're not going to get a split when they go high is usually when they get the big scores we all know the power players on the t pro tour can carry the thin hit spare working williams looks like it's going to be a really light hit though but well, that's the hit that the pros can carry every week because they have such tremendous power and spin and lift on the bowling ball, as you see. Walter Ray, a uh, graphic four-time world's champion horseshoe player. He is currently the world's champion player, and uh, a point of note, he holds the record for highest percentage in a tournament out of 750 shoes. He had a 91.1% mm. ringer uh, completion. That's pretty good. And now he's left with the 2-5-8 round of applause from the fans here. Quite a family of pitchers in the California State last year, four of the six top spots. He slides by, leaving the 2-5-8. Once again, the problem here is twofold. He has to guard against the two-pin chopping off the five and still hit strong enough for the ball to carry out the eight-pin. Well done. We're in our first match. The winner will meet the first of three left-handers. Hugh Miller, John Gann of Pittsburgh, and Steve Cook of Roseville, California. Mats well, Carlson, uh, an avid soccer player. He was a midfielder or halfback, as we call it in this country. Uh, he's played third division ball over in Europe, which he says is right next to playing for the national team. So he had a knee injury, Chris, and uh, had to quit on that, but uh, has really answered the bell here in the bowling world. And then there were two after a string of four. So how do you convert this 4-9, Nelson? Watch the action of the two pin. That's the third pin on the left-hand part of your screen. It goes to the sideboard and takes out the seven, but it does not get the four. The ball chops the five pin straight off the nine. He's left with a four-nine split. He has to try to slide the four over into the nine. We saw Roth leave this split twice last week, convert it once. So there's an opening now for Walter Ray Williams as Matt Carlson of Sweden. Up the four and left the nine. So it's 136 through the sixth. Whereas Williams uh, will have a spare working in the sixth when he gets up to shoot in the seventh frame. Our uh, three competitors remaining continue to practice off to our right. That's why you hear the pin fall from time to time. Mots Carlson trails by two, seventh frame. shaken by the open frame. And that is a big one for him. And both of these non-winners are pretty much clutch, clutch players, so it should be an interesting finish. That's why we ask you not to go away. We'll return after this. The more things cost, the better they are. That's not always true. Consider Barbasol. Barbasol has as thick and rich a lather as any other leading foam, but Barbasol can cost half as much as the higher-priced foams. Consider also Barbasol Glide Stick Deodorant. It has a fresh, clean scent like any deodorant should, but Barbasol can cost as much as a dollar less than the high-priced sticks. 
Barbasol Shave Cream, and Barbasol Glide Stick. Great toiletries for a lot less money. I tried it. Now I believe it. Denorex Tingles tells me it's doing more. Regular head and shoulders, no tingle. Both have dandruff medicine, but Denorex adds an extra anti-itch medicine and conditioner, too. Goodbye, head and shoulders. Hello, Denorex. This cold wouldn't feel so bad if I could just breathe. Try Dristan Nasal Spray with Oxymetazoline, the number one nasal decongestant among doctors. For 12-hour relief, try Dristan Long-Lasting Nasal Spray. Yes, exciting same-day coverage of America's Downhill, Aspen, Colorado, and then Montreal World Gymnastics Championships, Bo. Well, in the downhill, Chris, the defending champion Peter Mueller is hard to go against, and Ekaterina Zabo is, has to be the favorite in the gymnastics. Yes, won three individual goals at the 84 Los Angeles Olympic Games. Here's the man looking for his first PBA title. Perhaps he lucked out a little bit, leaving only the 6'10 on that very high hit. He has a habit of sort of holding just above his uh, left kidney. Uh, doing a little more. I'm wondering if he maybe uh, sprained something. Could be. To the 8th or 7th frame. The way he jams that left foot into the foul line. See him stand up on it and convert this spear. Even match. Okay. Walter Ray is truly an interesting guy, 26 years old, and we ask him how he stays in shape for horseshoes and bowling. Well, I, I keep in shape bowling, basically bowling on the tour. I'm bowling 50, 60, 70 games a week, and once in a while I'll have a tournament in between, a horseshoe tournament in between the bowling tournaments or an exhibition once in a while, and last summer I took one of the weeks off of the Senate tour and won the World Horseshoe Tournament. That was the voice of Walter Ray Williams, who came up with a big strike in the eighth frame. Looks overhead at the score sheet, along with the full house here. Once again, we have a possibility of a tie match with just two and a half frames to go. The match is all even. We had a tie match last week, in which we had a two-frame sudden death roll-off. This week, the possibility is very much the same. Mats Carlson can take a 10-pin lead, though, here, if he can strike here in the eighth. Leaving only the seventh pin. I think he'll take that and not complain. Both players, the characteristic of the championship play, uh, pair showing up in the, their pinfall. They both went high on the right-hand lane, lane 38. It hooks a little more. Gets a good break. Could have left the four, seven, ten split. Has a very simple seven pin spare to remain all even after eight frames. Big mark for Sweden's Max Carlton, who was a winner over there. He's a little bit of a businessman, too, in Europe, isn't he? Has two bowling uh, pro shops in Europe, uh, one in Denmark and one in Sweden. And uh, I asked him where he pays income tax, Chris. And uh, <laughs> as uh, we all can enjoy, he pays right along with us to Uncle Sam. He says he doesn't draw a salary out of his pro shops in Europe, or he'd have to pay double taxes. True blue Scandinavian. <laughs> match all even ninth frame <laughs> 29 year old Mats Carlson going at 26 year old Walter Ray Williams Williams now with a strike up in the eighth he'll be shooting in the ninth frame a big one for him Horseshoe weighs, what, three and a half pounds, Bo, and this 16-pound ball. As he take, takes up the whole approach, uh, he needs this one to take the lead, Chris. 40 feet for horseshoes, 60 for bowling. Oh, a mixing strike. That's the kind we used to get in Paramus, you know. <laughs> Paramus lanes, where we roll the bowling tips of the week. Here you see the action of Walter Ray. Sends the ball wide. Shakes that head pin off the sideboard, takes out the four, five, seven, now has a 10 pin lead, can really put the pressure on Mots Carlson with a strike in a 10th. After the next game, the tip of the week, converting the four, five split. Good tip by Bo. All right. 
coming to the man that was third last week. Fifth in the Light Classic, fifth in the AC Delco, and ninth in the U.S. Open. Has that two pin working overtime. Trips out the four nine. That's the split that Mats Carlson left in the sixth frame. So far, that has been the difference in the match. Walter Ray, as you said, Chris, a great clutch player, can close out Mats Carlson with a strike here in the 11th frame. A strike in one pin. He's assured of a victory and to go on to meet Hugh Miller. He'll take it. And in Brooklyn, he holds his head. Well, he won't have to hold his head long because this is the one that's put a lot of money in his pocketbook. Watch this. He knows it's an errant shot. Oh, give me some help. All he needs is to keep it in the building, and he'll go on to meet Hugh Miller, who has never lost a match in a championship round. There's the winner. All right. We're in our first match. 26-year-old Walter Ray Williams, Jr., has taken the measure of Mats Carlson of Sweden. We will have that final score. Williams shooting a big 246. Miller is next. We'll return. From Peoria, Illinois, the Professional Bowlers Tour. This ABC Sports exclusive has been brought to you by True Value Hardware Stores. We've got what it takes. By Rich Smooth Meisterbrow, the beer that only tastes expensive. And by Firestone, with over 4,000 Firestone retailers from coast to coast. We'll be back with more bowling after this message and a word from your local station. A true champion has something extra, stronger than muscle, more important than strategy. It's a personal commitment to deliver the extra margin of performance it takes to become the very best. We know. We're the champion spark plug company, and we prove Champion Copper Plus delivers the extra margin of performance it takes to become a true champion. Copper Plus, America's best spark plug. When I'm out on the road with a load of meat on, bad weather, bad cold, my load's still got to go. So I rely on Alka-Seltzer Plus. It relieves my aches and pains, the stuffiness in my head, watering on my eyes, running on my nose, and just everything. So I take out the salsa plus before I sack out. And in the morning, I feel like gangbusters. And I'm back on the road again. Alka Seltzer Plus Cold Medicine. Fast, effective relief for tough winter colds. Sunday. Live and let die. AT&T wants you to think that they're different from MCI. But with MCI's Dial 1 long distance service, you call the same way to the same places, coast to coast, with the same information operators and the same clear connections as AT&T. And, uh, oh, MCI saves you money. Maybe that's the difference that AT&T was talking about. Remember, it's never too late to choose MCI. So call now and start saving. Make bowling at Lancaster Lanes your new family sport. Their recently renovated lanes feature computerized bowling, so you can enjoy the game even more. Every Friday from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., enjoy your favorite hits while you bowl during Lancaster Lanes Rock and Roll Bowl. Every Saturday night is moonlight bowling from 11 p.m. Visit the prop shop, snack bar, and billiard rooms. Nursery facilities and bowling instruction are available, so bring the family to Lancaster Lanes, 1266 Lidditz Pike, Lancaster. Join John Reppets tonight on Channel 27 News. In his fourth television appearance of this year, Walter Ray Williams, nine strikes, 246 to 224 victory over Mats Carlson of Sweden. And this was his true reaction when he realized that he had won the game. Well, that should loosen him up, Nelson. And he better be loose as he goes against Hugh Miller of Mercer Island, Washington. That's right, almost downtown Seattle. Here he is. The man who has never lost a game in the championship round. 6 and 0, 233 average. Going against Walter Ray Williams. And for you left-handed bowlers, you will see three. The first is Hugh Miller who last won in the 1984 Quaker State Open. 
in Grand Prairie, Texas. Walter Ray looking for his first PBA title, won the first game, first shot. <laughs> very loose as he went to the line on that stroke. Well, you can really see the difference in uh, Walter Ray's style of winning one match, getting relaxed, getting into that groove as he's asking for a re-rack from Mr. Harry Holden, the tournament director. And very simply this, when you see a player go through the, the follow-through area nice and smoothly like he is going, then you know he's relaxed. And right now he's waiting for his bowling ball, I think, Chris. That's stuck down there in the, in the pit area. I think he had, he'd ask about the bowling ball, not a re-rack. I hope that isn't disconcerting to him. Shouldn't be a four-time World Horseshoe pitching champion. There are distractions when you're pitching those. Yeah, Waller is a sharp guy. Those riverboat gambler eyes and that great athletic and versatility in the bowling business. You know, Tony Danza was, dis was discovered while boxing. And I, I would think a Hollywood scout ought to take a look at Walter Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Walter Ray, the trajectory of Walter Ray playing just around the second arrow, sending the ball out to about the sixth or seventh board, breaking it right into the 1-3 pocket. No doubt about that shot. And a high hit for the port sider. It is left the 2-4. Very appreciative fans here at the Landmark Recreation Center. Come out in droves, their seventh year here. Friendly Peoria. Right on the Mississippi River. Hugh Miller doesn't take much time. Very deliberate, knows, uh, not so deliberate like, uh, say, Mott's was. Knows what he wants to do. And the young man that sees a lot of water when he's home, Lake Washington, in that Seattle area. One of his hobbies is going to the hydroplane races in that area. He says he really enjoys that as another hobby he has, which I think is really good. He runs four to eight miles every day when he's home. That's one reason he pulls so well under the pressure. Always exciting to see a left-hander come in from that side. And earlier years, Earl Anthony won twice here. So the trajectory of Hugh Miller, that extreme outside line out by the first arrow, tremendous angle on the one-two pocket, has sends the three pin to the sideboard, trips out the six ten. And now he's got Walter Ray in a position where he can take a 20-pin lead if he can start with three in a row. his opening game performance, stringing three. And he seems to be very much with it today. Very observant, and he's carefully checking the pins now on the left lane. And there's the ball. It's back. Walter Ray Williams has his own horseshoes out on the market, Chris. In fact, he gave me a beautiful pair that uh, a good friend of mine who makes them, Bill Courtright in St. Louis, had made up for me. And uh, I've played horseshoes a few times with Walter Ray. You talk about fun. Mm-hmm. Four-bagger. Bonus money in everyone's mind here, including ours. We'll be back after this. If you don't hurry, I'll miss my play. Well, I'm doing the best I can in this terrible rain. Would a new set of Anco wiper blades help? Certainly. Put them on. Change to Anco, the best-selling brand of wiper blades and refills. There, now I can see an airplane. Airplane! Oh! Oh! Don't worry, Ollie. It wasn't mine. That's mine. Oh! Anco, the best blades you can buy. Test proven. Hi, Pat Summerall. I'm no mechanical expert, but I work with professional quality master mechanic tools from True Value Hardware Store. For just $9.99 each, get a six-piece professional screwdriver set, a three-piece wood chisel set with sharp carbon steel blades, or a two-piece locking pliers set with wire cutters, or choose the 30-foot power tape with toggle lock. You can do a lot with master mechanic tools exclusively from participating True Value Hardware Stores and Home Center. Here's Ray Becker, who's changed the skyline of Peoria. He's a builder in many states, and of course, he has a landmark recreation center, which 
Good's many things, Bo. Um, health club, second to none. It's quite a complex. The finest, uh, people ask me around the country, where do I like to go most to bowl? And I'm not shutting out any other places. There's a lot of entertainment here at Landmark. We mentioned earlier that he is 6-0 and on television. We asked him why he has that great record. Well, I guess uh, what I can't make up in quantity, I make up in quality. When I make the show, I seem to just be locked in and bowling well, and it just continues over to the TV finals. Do you know he's never had an open frame in all the television games that... Well, when you make your spares all the time, Chris, uh, you're not going to dig a hole for yourself, and that's been his key. He has, as you just said, he has never missed a spare in the championship round. That's the great key. However, however, we set him up for that one, didn't we? Yes, <laughs> we really did. <laughs> as the ball slides by, you see the the washout spare conversion possibility here for Hugh Miller. This could be his first miss spare in seven championship games. The pressure's on. Has to take that head pin, drive it over into the seven pin area. The ball will take out the three and the nine. And he really needs this to stay close to a red hot Walter Ray Williams. The first miss spare in seven championship games. Walter Ray Williams, the head pin goes around the top of the seven. Just a bad break. He is in major trouble if he wants to keep his record intact. Walter Ray Williams has nine strikes in a row. He finished the last game with five. He started this game with four. Number five. He has all the shots going. Watch him saw the five, splice that six out, tomahawk the ten, there it goes. Walter Ray's been high, tripped the four, solid in the pocket, he's got them all going. One more strike, he'll be halfway to 200,000. Remember, he has ten in a row, five this game, he finished the last game with five. Well, three, six, ten, he came up high. So the string ends there. And this is the kind of shot you really need to carry if you're going to have that perfect game. Everybody has a shot that's offline, occasionally in 12 frames. Walter Ray hits high. Sometimes you get the break and knock them all down. He has the 3 6 10 spare to convert here. Now, Hugh Miller, Mercer Allen, Washington, is back up. And he had the open frame Remember in the fifth. Now he's shooting in the sixth. John Gant and Steve Cook continue to stay loose off to the right. Leaving a 5-9. Hugh Miller, nice guy. Excellent championship record. You can't get any better. Six wins, no losses. But that record is now in jeopardy. If he converts this 5-9, I see no reason why he shouldn't have easy spare. And strikes out, he would finish with a 2-34 game. Walter Ray Williams right now going at a 2-37 pace. Hugh Miller, who won two Quaker State Opens in 1980 and again in 1984, looks overhead at the uh, score monitor. Trails by 43. The man who has a real estate license in his home state of Washington and sells real estate when he's off the tour. As we uh, look at next week coming up, the King Louis Open, going up to see Bob Palin, Mike Milans, Mike Robinson, the whole group up there. Another great tournament. That's in Overland Park, Kansas. More like it. Great shot in the seventh frame. Now he'll have to string him because he's meeting Walter Ray Williams, the man on the left. We'll be back. My daughter calls it the Blue Bomber. My wife thinks I ought to get rid of it. 
And when it needed a new muffler, well, I was afraid she might be right. Ah, uh, listen. I don't want to spend too much on this car. Midas had a muffler that was perfect for my budget. Now the old blue bomber sounds almost as good as new. And heck, she doesn't look that bad. Trust the Midas touch. I was talking to the boys over by the Laser J today. Seems they know a thing or two about this Meisterbrow Fest that's been buying for the bunkhouse. I tell you, this stuff's more expensive than a coyote coat. Well, the way they tell it, ain't expensive at all. Just taste expensive. And what's that rattlesnake doing with all the money we chip in for beer? Hey, Bud Sewer, got a table for me and the little filly? <laughs> Rich, smooth Meisterbrow. It only tastes expensive. Bernell Whitaker, seven pro fights, seven victories, six by knockout. He'll face his toughest test to date when he takes on tough veteran John Montez in a live lightweight fight on ABC Sports Pro Boxing Series tomorrow. With that bottom line, Walter Ray Williams, five in a row, marked with a spare in the sixth, now shooting in the seventh, comfortable lead. That is a shot that is just sensational. Anybody who can trip, watch this replay, the two pin. That's the third pin on the left-hand side of your screen. So see it go to the left side board, take out the 4-7. When a player can carry that hit, he's almost unbeatable. And the scoreboard reveals that Walter Ray, with one more strike, will put himself in a commanding lead over undefeated Hugh Miller. Left the five pin. Showing all his emotions, <laughs> holding his head after he uh, released that ball. Here's why. Well, if you're going to miss in bowling, just don't miss a little bit. Miss an arrow. He missed four or five boards, crossed over. He won the first match with that shot against Mots Carlson in the 11th frame. It's another good break, a simple spare, the five pin here in the eighth to maintain a 43 pin lead. The man that shot a 246 to Mats. Carlson is 224 to get into the second game against previously unbeaten on television, Hugh Miller of the state of Washington. Two left-handers yet to play, John Gant of Pittsburgh and Steve Cook of California. Cook, carry it. Got his wish. His radar ball, hook, carry. And that ball reacted and listened to that shot, and he has put himself in a situation where he has a chance to still win this match. But he must strike here in the ninth frame. The scoreboard tells the story. Trails by 33 pins coming up in the ninth frame to cut the lead of Walter Ray Williams down to 23 pins. Anything can happen if you can strike here in the ninth. Strength and accuracy now for Hugh Miller here late in the second match. Psychologically put the pressure on Walter Ray Williams. He threw it perfect, Hugh Miller did in the ninth, and a little hand action to show Walter Ray I'm still in the match. Let's see how Will Williams reacts. Ninth frame. Acting perfectly. Deadeye Walter Ray Williams letting his bowling ball do his talking right now, and if he strikes here in the 10th frame, he'll have defeated one of the left-handed opponents that he must defeat if he has to, if he's going to win the title today. Hugh Miller never has tasted defeat on championship round of professional bowling. Walter Ray can change that with this shot. Six feet, two inches tall, 165, uncranking that shot. Cranking he did, Chris. He rips the five over into the four seven. With that strike, puts himself in a position where he can bowl at least a 240, maybe a 250 game with another strike. But most importantly, he has defeated the previously undefeated Hugh Miller.
That's a winner. That's the winner is right. Four-time World Horseshoe Pitching Champion. 26-year-old Walter Ray Williams, bowling out of Stockton, California. Converts the spear. He'll have a 246 victory. Matching his first game score of 246. And victory number two, and John Gant will be his opponent. Time for the tip now. How to convert the four, five split. Watch and listen. Here's Bo. The Professional Bowlers Tour Tip of the Week is brought to you by Radio Shack, the computer experts. The four, five split. Just the word split sometimes intimidates a bowler, and some bowlers try to slide the five pin into the four pin. In actuality, this is a very simple spare. Just look at it this way. The pins are 12 inches apart at the base. They're only seven and a half inches apart at the belly of the pin where they meet. The bowling ball is more than eight and a half inches in diameter. Now a little subtraction will show you that you have just about one and a half inches to play with to let the ball roll between the four and five pins and knock over both pins converting the spare. You use your normal spare rule. You play the third arrow from the right hand channel, roll the ball over the third arrow. I'll show you how you do it. Watch this demonstration. And there it is. Perfect. No way. So I did it on take number six. We have established the odds for the Pro Bowlers Tour on the four or five. They are six to one. No arguments, please. Adios. Now, for the power computer user who demands performance, Radio Shack introduces the Tandy 3000, the more powerful and more affordable IBM PC AT compatible. Here's the power to manage your business, utilize computer networking, or create a multi-user system. The Tandy 3000, the power to put you in command. Tandy, clearly superior, in business, for business. Only at Radio Shack Computer Centers. All right, in our series, interesting it indeed is, ask Bo, here's the question, Bo. How is the championship pair selected? The championship pair, meaning the pair we use in the TV finals, and uh, it's very simple. Number one, we try to accommodate all the spectators. That's maximum spectator seating and viewability. In other words, where they can see the match best. Number two, it's ample room for our television equipment. We have a tremendous crew. We have four trucks uh, that are used here, a lot of electricity and lighting and so forth. So we have to have room for that and say no post blocking to say our camera bit, camera's view of the lanes. Room for practice and alternate pairs. Our players practice approximately four pairs to the right of the championship pair. And if we have a breakdown, the players uh, will go to the pair to the left of the championship pair. And finally, if we happen to have all the three above and yet hit a championship pair where the scoring is absolutely horrible, we try to change it after one or two years, but we don't do that very often. And there's how you pick out the championship pair. And today, 37 and 38 here in Landmark. And if you'd like to ask Bo a question, send to Post Office Box 1986, Radio City Station, New York, New York, 10101. And on the last game, Walter Ray Williams shot a 246 with eight strikes. Hugh Miller had a 234 with nine strikes. But you remember the washout, right? Now, we have a former University of Cincinnati baseball pitcher in from Pittsburgh, John Gant, who has one victory in his three years, a PBA member, a tremendous competitor, 28 years old, finished second overhaul behind the tournament leader, Steve Cook. Here's his first shot. Mm. When his ball hits the pins, it sure wake you up if you weren't uh, paying attention. The buzzsaw, we call him John Gant going against the red-hot 
Walter Ray Deadeye Williams. 246-246 in his two matches so far. I hit and leaving only the 3-6, the man with 17 strikes thus far on live television. All right, next week, the $130,000 King Louis Open in Overland Park. Then to North Olmsted, Ohio, suburb of Cleveland, the Light Beer Open. And then the big $235,000 PBA National Championship. And here's one man I'm sure will be fighting his heart out to be in that final five, Walter Ray Williams. Walter Ray, one of seven children, all horseshoe players, and the only real bowler, he said, is his mother who got him started. His mother bowls still in league in the under 150 average, he says, but she enjoys it very much. Has to be proud of her son. And again, a 3-6. One thing Walter Ray has to guard against, he's bowled two games in the championship round. He's very loose and relaxed out there, but the lanes are changing a little bit. This ball's starting to hook a little more. He has to either keep the speed up or make a slight move to the left on the approach. So, continuing to mark with spares, whereas John Gant opened with a strike in the first. Now looking at the right lane of our championship pair, carefully placing himself left of center. John Gant, just a tremendous, tremendous power player, has that high arm swing, great knee bend, sticks a little bit at the line there, but the key to his success is the wrist action. Tremendous wrist action as he drives that five over into the 6-10 area. I really don't think that you can throw much more effective strike ball or get many more revolutions on the ball than John the Buzzsaw Gant gets on the ball. Somewhere around 15 revolutions in the 60 feet, six inches to the head pit. 1984 Rookie of the Year. Uh, uh, nervous, wobbly, three pin on the left lane. The trajectory of John Gant starts the ball around the second arrow out to almost the first board. Then the sharp break at the back end doesn't quite get back to the one-two pocket leaves the three pin and that was a very pivotal pin last year here as Steve Cook missed the three pin and cost him a chance to win the championship. Mm -hmm. So uh, exhales after that, that third frame as he had opened with the double as you see. Williams trailing by 11 marking with two spares now in the right lane third frame for the man that shot identical 246s in his two victories. Learning with that high side, Nelson. The man with a Bachelor of Science degree in physics at Cal Poly sure shows you what to do when the two pin is in the air. He takes out the 4-7 every time today with it. It's been the key so far to his two victories and has kept him in contention to win $27,000 and a possible trip to the Firestone. More and more, we see the college players coming in on the professional bowlers tour. Now remember, we said he had 17 and two victories. Now he's added two more here in his third game of the afternoon. We'll be bringing you more of the semifinal game and then the final, but first this. Need a tired little lady? Well, we got him right here, yes, sir. I just bought a whole boatload of. <laughs> what brands are they? Brand, forget the brand. What counts here is the buy one savings, buy one, get two free. Warranty, you name it. 20,000 miles to choose you. Whichever America's you learning that price isn't everything. At Firestone, no matter what car you choose, it's a national brand you know. That's backed in writing. And you know what? You still save money. America's driving to Firestone. Even though you faithfully pay your premiums, why do some insurance companies make you feel so guilty? I had an accident. You have an estimate? Two estimates? Three estimates. And a note from your mother. My mother? 
Leave it to the good hands, people. In most cases, Allstate will give you a settlement on the spot without three estimates or a note from your mother. How do we know it's her writing? Mm -hmm. You're in good hands with Allstate. A member of the Sears Financial Network. Next week on ABC's Professional Bowlers Tour. Hello, hello. They'll be rockin' and rollin' at the King Louie Open next Saturday on ABC Sports. Nine-time winner and reigning United States Open champion, California Steve Cook, tournament leader waiting to meet the winner of this match. Look how big, six feet seven, and look at the rounds he led. In the second, then ousted Gant and finished five and six as the leader. And here is John Gant, tremendous athlete. No doubt about it, when John Gant hits those three pound, eight ounce pins, they jump. They respect that power. As you mentioned, Chris started as a, has tremendous baseball ability. And I think he mm -hmm. picked up that rosin he's using right there from his uh, baseball days. It threw a tremendous fastball. They set up the 95 miles an hour. And I'll have to inform him right now, he's doing something a little bit illegal on the professional bowlers tour. He's putting rosin on his ball. You can wipe it off, but you can't leave the rosin in the settee area. See if Walter Ray says something about it. So after that, our riverboat gambler, Walter Ray Williams, winner two with the double up. Shoot will be shooting in the fifth. This is some semifinal match. Within one. Okay, only one pin separating these two young professionals. Walter Ray, who's been a PBM member six years. Once again, the two pin does the job. Trips out to 4 7. Walter Ray, he's learned to trust this shot, and I can't blame him gotten him to within one pin of John Gant. Tremendous action so far here today. Players are averaging in the high 230s. Walter Ray, 246, 246 is off to a great start in this match. I think it's obvious that they like it here at Landmark. What a facility. Ooh. Ten pin. The first hit that Walter Ray really got tapped on this one. Watch this. The ball drives into the 1-3. Watch the 6 jump right over the top of the 10. And to explain what happened, we just say in bowling, when one round object hits another round object, they don't always react exactly the same way every time. Part of the game. Walter Ray continuing to mark. man that's fortunate has his own doctor, his wife, Bev. Last year residency in Pittsburgh. Nelson? Is the emergency room doctor at Allegheny General Hospital, Beverly Timberline. Oh my goodness, that's yeah, part the, of the building. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that is actually the opposite of what happened to Mark Roth last week in the Miller Lite Classic. As you see the trajectory of John Gant. The ball hits the one, two, drives through and chops the five straight off the eight. That's what a right-hander Roth left, basically the nine pin last week that cost him the championship. Oh, and he just stood up there and fired. Next baseball pitcher. And he said he had to keep winning, Nelson, because Dr. Beverly wants to go on for at least two more years of study research in medicine back at the University of Cincinnati. Well, you can't blame him. He's uh, actually uh, a Mr. Mom. He uh, for, forgo a, a baseball ch scholarship and a baseball career to take care of their son, Evan, who is age five, to let Beverly finish her doctorate degree and then stayed at home. So I think he made the proper decision, making a lot of money with his bowling ball. You can always, always come back out here and bowl. Now 
again, uh, that single pin of three on the left lane. Dan's enjoying these pro bowlers. Look how close to the channel. 42 inches wide, the bowling lane sends it out to the last board, almost gets it back. Once again, he leaves the spare. We saw him leave in the third frame, the three pin. Simple spare, just down the left side, let it break right in the three pin, and the match will be all even. And our tournament leader, Steve Cook, another left-hander, gets curiously close to that channel. He'll be bowling next. More of this match following this word. The Mr. Inside Floor Sentry Floor Mat helps remove mud and dirt from your shoes and absorbs water from wet boots. And it's bonded to a heavy-duty non-slip vinyl base. During March, it's just $4.99. Look for the Bargain of the Month banner at participating True Value Hardware stores and home centers. Now, Selsun Blue, the number one doctor-recommended dandruff shampoo, introduces a new extra conditioning formula. It leaves my hair looking so soft and manageable. It has five conditioners, including aloe, that leaves hair in beautiful condition. And Selsun Blue extra conditioning formula contains the anti-dandruff ingredient doctors recommend most. No leading brand gets rid of dandruff flaking or itching better. New Selsun Blue extra conditioning formula controls dandruff and leaves hair in beautiful condition. The world's top skiers hit the slopes at Aspen, Colorado to compete at the only U.S. World Cup downhill this year. It's same-day coverage of America's downhill. Plus, women compete for individual gold at the World Gymnastics Championships. All on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Next. So it's two-part excitement on award-winning ABC's Wide World of Sports. All the grace and some danger on the beam for the ladies. World Gymnastics Championships, a lot of danger, Bo, the America's downhill. And there is Dan Cotter, president of Cotter & Company, parent of True Value Hardware Stores. He owned the car that won the Indianapolis 500 in 1983 with Tom Sneva driving. He showed me a picture of the one that Roberto Guerrero will be driving this year. And won't it be fun as ABC brings you the 500 for the first time live? Walter Ray, seventh frame match, all even. Hmm, two 46s in the first and second game victories for this 26-year-old. That strike in the seventh frame. Great match. Walter Ray Williams, 1983, bowled in the St. Louis tournament, cashed in the tournament, flew to Houston, won the horseshoe tournament, came back and made the championship round right here at Landmark Lanes, Chris. What a life he lives. Top pro in two sports. Tremendous year thus far. And that big double gets him oh, a step closer. He has yet to win, whereas John Gant has one PBA title. Watch this man root at the line. Boy, oh boy, is he looks sharp. He's pointing the left-hand lane a little farther inside, swinging the ball out. A lot of confidence. Look at those eyes. Good reason to smile. Tough opponent, John Gant. Trails by 10 pins, 8th frame, another great clutch shooter. Well, 2, 4, 6, 7, awful looking thing, Nelson. <laughs> A split we don't see very often. The 2, 4, 6, 7, he just doesn't get the speed on the first ball. It breaks right through the middle of the pins and... What he has to do is get the ball to the left of the two pin and slide it over into the six. Let the ball take out the four seven. Costly open frame for the man who, in 1985, in the AC Delco finished second to Mike Albee. In an all left hander final. And trying to hold up, uphold the dignity of the left handers, Hugh Miller was defeated by right hander. Walter Ray Williams in the last match, 246 to 234. Williams beat Mats Carlson, 246 to 224. John Gant trails by 26, must strike, ninth frame. Leaving the 2-4. 
all sorts of problems. If he sends it wide, it doesn't quite come back. If he starts it up, it goes high. Remember, in the seventh frame on this left-hand lane, he sent it wide, left the three pin, made the adjustment, said, I'll start the ball up towards the pocket a little more. What happens? It cuts high. John Gant in real trouble. shooting in that ninth frame with a double up. Walter Ray could slam the door here with a strike in the ninth. A man that's been creeping up as he goes. He was third last week, fifth in the light classic, fifth at AC Delco, ninth in the open. You can see how Walter Ray is playing the championship here. About the seventh or eighth board from the right-hand channel on this lane. Not much hook, rolling the ball very smoothly. Now watch his shot on the left-hand lane as you see his reaction that ninth frame strike. He'll play a little farther left and send it out with the big hook. There it is around the second arrow, real wide. Here comes the break. So in a tournament where the left-handers have prevailed, Three of them here in the field of five. Walter Ray. Walter Ray has a chance for what we call a triplicate. 246 the first game, 246 the second game, nine and the spare here would be another 246. 250s, Chris. It's kind of average as you like. <laughs> What a performance. Well, Thursday afternoon, in the qualifying, his last three games, they had to, they were clutch games. He shot a 882. Big, big scores. He needed all those big three games to make the top 24. Now he has a chance to win the tournament. All right, Walter Ray Williams. On today, in this game at 257, We'll have John Gantz score for you a little later, but now for the title against Steve Cook after we return. I think a little higher. When my head hurts, no painting looks good. I used to take aspirin or Tylenol, but today I take Advil. Advil contains a non-prescription strength of the medicine in the prescription brand Motrin. Doctors have already recommended Advil over a million times. You see, just one Advil is as effective as two regular aspirin. Advil got rid of my headache, and it didn't upset my stomach. Look for a special Advil coupon in Sunday's paper. A bowler's greatest enemy, lane conditions. Difficult, changing, unpredictable. But there's a ball that handles it all. The AMF angle. Urethane control. Urethane hitting power. Devastating on any lane condition. Number one winner on the Winter Pro Tour three years in a row. Don't be left in the past. Hundreds of thousands of bowlers have chosen the black angle to get better scores. The AMF black angle at bowling pro shops only. The angle strikes again. If you're pregnant, your job may be in jeopardy. Monday, watch ABC's World News tonight. When you buy a used vehicle at Marysville Motors, you get treated as if you're a new car customer because we offer 100% financing with no money down on your approved credit. We offer bank finance rates, and we have five-year unlimited mileage warranties available. And after the sale, we treat you like a new car customer. And if you ever have a problem that one of my managers can't handle, you give me a call. My name is Wayne, and we appreciate your business. In 1972, MCI consisted of a few microwave towers and a few courageous businessmen as customers. Over the years, MCI has added the watch service that reaches to Europe and beyond. Fiber optics, the most modern way to send data. And service centers like this one all over the country. MCI has also added something else. Over three million customers who don't have to be courageous anymore. Call MCI and find out everything we can do for your business. Join Suzanne LaFranchi tonight on Channel 27 News. We're back and so is Walter Ray Williams. Started in the first match, 246, second, 246. 
Again, nine strikes, 257. Total of 26 strikes coming into the final match. And he'll need more to go against the tournament leader, Steve Cook. Meanwhile, these statistics. 160-man field. They all average 206, 214 to make the top 24, 210 to cash 53rd place. Bill Straub got that. Peter the Great finished sixth. Ernie Schlegel, good week. All-world Holman. Mike Bovia up there. Joe Staten. Mark Roth, as usual. Lefty Steve Preston. Norm Duke having a great winner. Ramwell, Mike Durbin up there in the top 24, former Firestone champion. Tony Cariello says, say hi to his dad, Sam. Randy Canales up there, Bobby Knipple, Tom Kreitz, the powerful Randy Johnson. And here as we're rounding out the top 24 players, we see Jimmy Miller, $1,480. And next week, the King Louis at Overland Park, Kansas. We return there in our airtime is 3 Eastern and Pacific, 2 Central, and each week we are live right here on ABC, and each week followed by ABC's Wide World of Sports. So we think it's a one-two punch, and it has been for a long time, 25 consecutive seasons. So we appreciate your joining us each week, and this week we're at the Landmark Recreation Center, a house of 50 beautiful bowling lanes, a health club. Get your hair done here, you can do almost anything as... David Ozio should Steve Cook, well, whatever Steve does today, Cook will move into first place because it's 27,000 to the winner, 14,000 to the runner-up in this one game, Bo, head-to-head coming up. Here's some of the other money winners, Chris, is uh, big Steve Cook still taking some practice shots. And uh, I'll tell you what, Chris, this is such an important game for Steve Cook because he could win his 10th PBA title. And with 10 PBA titles, all that you have to do is bowl 50% of the tournaments each year, and you're eligible for the Firestone for life. And Walter Ray needs to win today to become eligible for the Firestone. Uncharted territory for Walter Ray has never bowled for a championship in the PBA Tour. Once again, still that possibility of $200,000 if either one of the players could roll a perfect game. Cook, first shot, championship game. The United States Open champion. Winning it in Venice, Florida. And a six pad. And right off, you can tell he has some rooters here. Well, heard the O's and A's when he left the six pen. Big Steve Cook just dominated the tournament. You see he had that 300 game in his final game uh, Thursday night and has just stayed way ahead of the field. The powerful ball, he's kept it under control, made his spares. And I'm sure he's thinking about almost giving this title away last year when he finished third. All he needed to convert was a single pin spare, the three pin, to go on to the championship game. Steve Cook at six feet seven. Now going against six foot two inch. Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Look at his average, 249.6, three games. The key for Walter, watch to see if he keeps the speed up. There was a nice shot there. Total of 27 strikes. Watch the replay. He realigns that arm swing. It starts his arm swing out, then gets it right next to that body as he releases the ball. Lifts right up the back of the ball, not the big hook on the right-hand lane. Drives all ten pins in the pit. Now the style on the left-hand lane for the versatile Walter Ray Williams. A little more hook, sends it wide, lets it hook back nice and soft. Now watch this. Adrenaline pumping. That double and second strike. You wonder why you put the wrist action on the ball. You wonder why you need the power to be a pro bowler. You need all the shots. Walter Ray shows it in that shot. Head pin to the sideboard. Trips out to 2-4, 7-8. He has a 10-pin lead. And Steve Cook comes up high, leaving the 2-4. The line of Steve Cook. He's playing around the second arrow, sends it out to approximately the third or fourth board. And at this position, he wants the ball to hold or kind of set in that one two pocket, not to be. Cuts through the middle, leaves the two four spare.
with authority, Steve Cook. Marks with a spare, whereas his opponent opened with a double. 27,000 to the winner, 14,000 to the man that's in the short end of the score. Steve Cook, nationally ranked archer when he was younger in his teens. He's an excellent, excellent player. One of the true great stars in the Pro Tour in the last five, six years. There's the Cook that has won nine championships, including the U.S. Open this year. Solid in the pocket. Six takes out the ten. Walter Ray Williams trails or leads by 12, can extend that lead to 22, third frame. Where there's life, there's hope. And that's three in a row. Walter Ray showing us what he's made of. He's never really gotten loose in the championship round. He had a one and six record for his career coming into today's action. He's won three straight matches, averaging better than 249, off to a 22 pin lead in the championship game, three in a row. is the tournament leader, Steve Cook. 32 pin lead, Williams. Excuse me. Yes. How much is it going to cost? I don't know. I'll have to ask. Look, is my car ready yet? I don't know. I'll have to ask. Is this warranty good into you? Every day, more and more Americans are becoming less satisfied with their car care. That's why Firestone developed MasterCare. With prices posted at the counter, MasterCare services that are warranted coast to coast and your car ready when promised. Because at Firestone, we're not satisfied until you're satisfied. America driving to Firestone. I hear you men got a gripe with the cookie. Go ahead, Red, tell him. Well, Captain, it's about this Meister brow he's been laying on board. He's got expensive taste for a galley rat, don't he? <laughs> Captain, the radio man on the Eloise just told Pinky here it's not expensive. Just taste expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Cookie doing with this bucket's beer money? You very big American spender, Mr. Cookie. <laughs> Rich, smooth Meisterbrow. It only tastes expensive. Next week on ABC's Professional Bowlers Tour. Hello, hello. They'll be rocking and rolling at the King Louis Open. Next Saturday on ABC Sports. Yes, behind every successful man, there's a lovely lady, and that is Candy Cook and one of their two daughters, Jill. And daughter Stacy visiting some friends in Indiana. What a great state to have a little visit in, right, Chris? Kokomo. Steve Cook has to get his act going, uses the whole approach. Six feet, seven inches tall, 260 pounds, trails by 32 pins, can cut the lead of Walter Ray Williams down to 22 with this strike. And he left the two pin, just sort of smiling and, well, maybe scratching his head. A little bit. The left-handers have had trouble today. The last time we had left-handers in the first, second, third positions was 1984, the Firestone Tournament Champions. Mike Durbin made quick work of all three lefties, averaging 240. And you can remember the great George Pappas, who, by the way, just returned to action this week after a wrist operation, taking the measure of three lefties in the King Louie in the mid-1970s. Yeah, George Pappas finishing 73rd following surgery and recuperative period. Dick Weber, 93rd. Wayne Webb. 91st, Johnny Petraga is 65th. Good to see them out here competing. And as we mentioned, the defending champion of both 84 and 85 here at Landmark, Ted Hannes, finished 99th. Steve Cook, 42-game tournament this week, starting on Tuesday with the Pro-Am in practice. Bowled 37 games out of the 42, over 200. Has been very consistent this week, but now he needs to turn red hot to catch Williams. Seven pin. This has been a year where each of the eight tournaments has been won by a different professional. Cook could be the only one to be multiple should he win today. The solid seven, Steve Cook, when he really needs to get it going, gets a bad break, leaves the seven pin 
will trail by 33 pins with this conversion in the fifth frame. Chris, there's just so many good players in a professional bowlers tour. I think we see it in golf and a lot of other sports. Too much talent in this country. Oh, what speed in covering that seven pin. We don't have any faint-hearted competitors here today, let me tell you. All this talent is very difficult to dominate. Walter Ray. Number of things on his mind. The 200,000 if he could throw eight more strikes. And naturally, his first victory on the professional bowlers tour and a trip to the Firestone. It's like it had a string on it, Nelson. That is a five-bagger for Walter Ray Williams. And add that to the six he finished the last game. He would have 11 in a row. The possibility is showing up. You can roll a perfect game out there. Walter Ray, Chris, you're right, had a string on that shot. Look at this. He's working. I'll tell you what he has to guard against is just throwing the ball a little bit too slow, or he's going to be in the pocket on every shot if he keeps the speed up. I hit, and then four, six, seven, but... Well, Dan Cotter can keep his $200,000 for another week anyway as Walter Ray goes through the middle and gets a 4-6-7 split and opens this match right up. Anybody can still win. Yes. This is the True Value Open, fifth that we've had here at Landmark. Seventh time we've come to this river city of Peoria. Clear, cold day outside. But I heard from St. Louis it's warming up. About Almost 60 degrees, 180 miles south of Peoria. And left with a nine on the right lane. Steve Cook in trouble. He's had to make the adjustments on the right-hand lane. He's been high, light, high, light. Just can't seem to get that ball into the pocket. What he's going to have to do as he comes up in the 8th and 10th frames on this right-hand lane, he's just going to have to lean back and just put all that power that he has in that mighty arm of his and just slam the ball into the pocket. You can't read the lanes. You can't fiddle around for two more frames. Imagine three weeks ago in Venice, Florida, he won the United States Open and is a Firestone Tournament of Champions winner as well, his wife, Candy. Concerned look, giving a, a few words to Jill, who's asking, how's Daddy doing? <laughs> Mommy's saying he's got 14,000, honey, right now, but he needs to work hard these last four frames to make an additional 13 and add it up to 27,000. I think that's what Steve Cook's saying. Uh, a concerned or even a disconsolate look on his face as he leaves the one, three, four, six, seven. A wash out with the four pin in there. He has to take the head pin, drive it over into the four, seven area, and to convert the split. It's, come on, Daddy, make this, will you? And he's in a must situation. Walter Ray Williams, red hot. Let's see what Steve does. So he has an open frame, leaving the 4-7. Steve Cook of Roseville, California. Walter Ray Williams, there he is leading by 46. More after this. The Professional Bowlers Tour. This ABC Sports exclusive is being brought to you by True Value Hardware Store. We've got what it takes. By Rich Smooth Meisterbrow, the beer that only tastes expensive. And by Vic Sinex, with instantly penetrating vapors, complete relief for hours and hours. When the big U flows, America goes. Hey, that truck runs, a Fisher and Son doesn't. Only gets the big Q. 
Quaker steak. Well, you can depend on number one. You'll pop. They start with Pennsylvania grade crude. Nothing like Quaker steak. It's a one-of-a-kind formula. Stable viscosity, keeps the oil flowing, protecting no matter what. No substitute for quality. <laughs> I got two great partners. <laughs> Quaker State. The big Q stands for quality. Always has, always will. Some have it, some don't. Afrin doesn't have it. Dristan doesn't have it. Only Sinex has it for stuffy noses. Ooh. That quick feeling of relief from instantly penetrating Vicks Vapors, plus a powerful decongestant that opens nasal passages so you breathe freely. Ah, complete relief. For hours and hours, Sinex has it for instant and complete relief in regular and 12-hour extra strength. From Vicks, of course. True Value Hardware stores mean top quality hardware. And our Hardware Week circular means great savings for you. Get this snap at Magnaflex Work Light that sticks to metal for just $13.88. And Armor All Protectant for only $6.99 with a $2 mail-in rebate. Wagner Glass Mask keeps painting mess to a minimum for just $3.88. And the Master Mechanic Electric Glue Gun helps with household repairs. It's only $7.99 in the Hardware Week circular from participating True Value Hardware stores and home centers. Since we're running behind our time schedule, we had to bowl through, and all sorts of things happened. Steve Cook had just with the first shot in the eighth frame, but before that, well, here's the sh here's Steve Cook's shot in the eighth frame. Leaves the four, six, seven, eight, ten, and uh, <laughs> in the eighth frame, Walter Ray Williams left the four, six, seven, ten. It looks like a domino game. The pins are leaving up down. There. And also while we're away, Walter Ray left a 3-6 mark with a spare in the seventh frame. His lead went from 46 to 30. There you see the difference now through eight frames, 127 to 169. Scoreboard tells the story. Walter Ray out of the gate quickly with five in a row. Then he's faltered in the sixth and eighth frames, but Cook can't put any pressure on him. Cook must strike ninth frame to have any chance of defeating Walter Ray for the $27,000. Foundation strike for Cook. And the man that's won three matches with a 249 average. Here's a replay of the last shot. Watch the action of the head pin. See it goes to the right hand corner. Over into the left, takes out the seven pin. Cook is alive. But then comes the horseshoe pitching champion, Walter Ray Williams, matching the ninth frame strike. And with that shot, Walter Ray, you can see the gleam in his eyes, has assured himself of a trip to the Firestone Tournament of Champions. The best cook can shoot is 187. Walter Ray can throw his horseshoes down there and still win this match, Chris. Mm -hmm. He's been sneaking up on a title, this man. Third last week. Started fourth this week. Just ahead of Matt Carlson, whom he debated with a 246, another 246 against Hugh Miller, and then a 257 against Gant. What a performance. Walter Ray just never let up on any one of his four opponents today. He went through the three left-handers and the one right-hander. No contest, just a tremendous performance. He'll have a game of 215 if he converts the spare. That's right. And look at that smile. I'm wondering how this first professional bowler's victory compares with any of the four World Horseshoe Pitching Championships. That may be one of the loosest shots in the world. Never in doubt, just stroking it down the lane to get the 2 4 5 8. Walter Ray Williams. The smile tells the story. A congenial winner, Walter Ray Williams. Uh, a lot of players wanted to see him win. Steve just going through the motions. Best he can bowl is 167. But remember, just three weeks ago, well, this man's still in disbelief. Dimples getting deeper with that cleft. I'll tell you, Hollywood producers got to find this fellow. <laughs> Riverboat gambler in the next motion picture. Well, he can get out of this bowling center, get on the Illinois River, take him down the Mississippi, drive Interstate 70 to there Kansas City. <laughs> 
Here's a man three weeks ago won the United States Open. And remember, in um, three weeks, he can get another part of the Triple Crown should he be able to win the PBA National Championship in Toledo. Next week, it's Overland Park, followed by North Olmsted, Ohio, and then Toledo. Steve Cook, lowest game of the week. The 167, there's your champ, Chris. Daniel Walter Ray. 37 games over 200 this week. But there you see, 215, 167. Four big victories for the non-winner up until now. Walter Ray Williams. He'll be joined by Dan Cotter for the trophy and the money. There is Dan Connor, who, as we said, is president of Connor & Company and who owned the car that won the Indianapolis 500 in 1983 and has a great new design car for 86. ABC will be covering the 500 live. We covered this live, and what a rewarding victory for this man. Imagine, four times world horseshoe pitching champion. Well, he never earned 27000 in his whole career as a horseshoe pitcher, but he did this afternoon, Nelson. And coming up next, we have a lot of champions with a lot of fast action. The World Gymnastics Championships in America's downhill, Chris, on wide world of sports. So there is the trophy and True Value Hardware Rare, a gold-plated hammer. And it's so appropriate in a beautiful walnut frame. But Dan Cotter now eyeing that $27,000 check. And Dan, you can give it to Walter Ray Williams right now. He is anxious to receive it. The man who um, averaged 249 coming in to this final victory game for Walter Ray. The Professional Bowlers Tour was produced by Ken Wolf, directed by Larry Cam. Technical director, Bob Bernthal. Associate director, Nubar Stone. Now this is Chris Shank along with Nelson Burton Jr. saying so long from Peoria, Illinois. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the men's World Cup skiers compete in America's Downhill. Same day coverage from Aspen, Colorado. And the world's top women gymnasts vie for individual honors at the World Gymnastics Championships. Next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, travel arrangements made through and a promotional fee paid by United Airlines, now serving 13 cities throughout Asia and the Pacific. United, a fresh breeze across the Pacific. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, and once again, the winner for the first time, Walter Ray, 